to explain what he did here, but basically, um, he digitized the the former so that we so he took the old former, straightened it out, and then digitized it, cut out a blank, brought it out, checked it, made sure that it was fitting the airplane like it's supposed to, and then he just cut a whole bunch of of these things and you'll see there's actually another former that's that's in here and then he pressed he, he put a blank piece of metal here and then pressed the former down around all these individual pieces that that he made so it's a lot of work was involved in in making up just one little piece of this former so and the sad thing is is that this blank only works in that one spot because as you as you go back on the airplane it gets smaller and smaller and all the angles change so the the blank that he made here only goes in that one spot and it would work for both sides of the airplane but other than that one former they're, they're i guess they they wouldn't be any good so they back in the day when they were making all these things they actually had these blanks made for each section of the airplane that, that they had to make the, the formers for. So, but I'll, I'm going to see if I can get a better explanation from Larry, but I'm thinking just from looking and listening to what, what he's been talking about, that's kind of the way that, that that was done. And, uh, there's also, you'll notice there's, there's little, uh, flat spots in here. Um, where where they where he formed all this and i don't remember what he said those were for but we'll get a, a better explanation from him once he gets up here the the marks that are on on the uh former were and and that were on the other piece that we were looking at earlier are for the stringer yep for here. the stringer set there isn't it? so it basically goes in so that the stringer ends up even with the the former so the skin stays uniform all the way across the rows on either right. side of the splice and then these are the splices that'll go in the in upper the, side to hold the former up in for the old piece of the former and and the new piece that we just made yeah it'll go it'll sit right up in here like this the original part runs up much higher so this is the former that larry made for me and as you can see, it it fits right in here on the other piece, and then he's got some doublers that'll go in here. Actually, this will just rivet back into that one, and it looks like the same up there. So we'll get those things put in today, and then the plan is I finally found this bulb angle. Um, and, and for anybody that's curious about what bulb angle is, you can see how the end of the, or the one, one side of the angle has this little radius to it, which is the bulb. And it just adds strength to the, the stringer. So these pieces are what holds the, the metal on. We'll, we'll end up riveting the metal back into the, these pieces. And uh, it's been really difficult to find this bulb angle, but this, this size. So we ran into, or Larry found a guy up in Gainesville that happened to have quite a few sticks of this stuff. So I bought five 20 foot sticks. So I've got a little extra. So in anticipation of any further stupid uh, acts that, that I perform, but, uh, we should have this thing going back together today. And, uh, I'm kind of excited about getting the skin back on it because it's a little stressful having this airplane sitting here with all of its belly pulled off. Okay. So we're putting the former in here. We got to put the, the doubler in, but we got it cut so that it's matching up there. And then this piece, these two pieces are, if I can get the camera in here where the light's not shining in it, 
push those, those, those are matching up there. There we go. All right, now it's matching. There you go. Okay, and here's your, your doubler. It's gonna go in here. Then we get it all together. So now we just gotta drill out that and put the rivets in there to hold those in, and then we'll put the stringers in last. So we've got these uh, holes drilled in here for this doubler. We've got some Clecos in here holding that in place. Um, we've got the this piece held in, I, so now I've got to go through and, and drill out the uh, the holes up there for that doubler, and drill a couple holes here, a couple holes here. And we should be ready to rivet. We got to prime it, but we'll be ready to put this uh, string or former back in here. We have our former drilled out and and the doublers on it. So now what we're doing is we've made up new stringers, and we've got. Do uh, you have one of those plates? The, the, well, yes, right I do. Um, no, I don't. Sorry, we've got a, a piece of angle that's. Uh, Inside of here, it fits inside here underneath the bowl. Uh, I, can bring probably, I can see it right here, probably. Each light in there. So, so this piece now we're good. This piece of angle here fits in the the inside of the bulb angle. The stuff that we got is a little bit taller than the original, but it's I mean it's, it's like not going to be any kind of problem. So we've got this matched up. We're going to be drilling holes through. The side here, and putting the putting that uh, doubler in here. Um, so if I get back out of here, um, and we're drill drilling the rivets for these in between the holes that are going to go in the skin, so the heads don't hit, or the tails. And then so we'll drill three here, and then three here, and then we'll put the rivets in the sides, and and then we've got the our former up here with with the two pieces coming through it. So. And then we'll have doublers up there on the other ends to, to match up up there. So now what we're going to be doing is putting these these pieces in so that we can get the holes drilled drilled in them. And then once we're done drilling the holes, we're going to take all of this stuff back out and put primer on it and get it ready to put it in here for, for real. All right. So all of the stringers are done. The doublers are done. The, we're having a pretty good storm here. Um, I am sanding down all the places where the rivets are gonna go back in, so getting all them tapered in so that we can repaint it once we're done. We've got the Clecos holding everything together because we've the next step after I get everything sanded down, um, I'm gonna be pulling all of this stuff out and uh, painting it. So we're gonna get the, the primer, um, Put on all of these pieces and I'm also there's a lot of places inside of here that are missing primer so I'm gonna be taping off the whole thing and actually trying to paint some of the the stuff that's up inside here as well uh, just to make sure that we get a good coat on everything because it, I don't want to leave this any of this metal down here like that it sounds like our uh, trash can just blew away outside so that's interesting we're having a pretty good storm here at the moment so anyway that's where we're at for tonight tomorrow morning i'm going to get in here and start or finish sanding everything down and the, the goal tomorrow is to get everything painted so that we can start getting the rivets in it as soon as we can right, so we have everything painted and we're about to start putting the rivets in to, uh, to get all the the form, former and the stringers in, and then we'll start putting the metal on next. All right, so we got the rivets coming in on there. We got the former almost in. Um, so we're kind of working our way through all of the holes, and then I'm gonna start putting the stringers in next after I get all the, the rivets for the former in. So now we got the stringer in, former, and then the other side of the stringer, and one more stringer to go, and then we'll be ready to start putting the metal on.
All right, we have the stringers, the new stringers back in and the new former. So now we are down to laying metal in here. So this is our piece of metal that we're gonna be trying to slide up inside here. So we'll see how this goes. All right, I've got the piece of metal in here. We got it in all the way down to the back. So now what we gotta do is I'm gonna get up inside and check and make sure that I've got enough material over here to drill these holes out because it's pretty close to where I, I drew that red line about this far off of the edges of the metal. So I think we're, we're good here, but I'm gonna get up inside and make sure. So we'll check all that. And if everything looks okay, we'll go ahead and start drilling out some of these holes all right so i'm calling it a night for tonight tomorrow i've got to cut in a few more of the uh like this is the new former or this is the former that i've already had i've got to drill in these holes in this former that's the new former there's a new stringer you can see the, the holes back here on this, this section here. There's another stringer, which is the new stringer that runs down through here. I gotta drill it out and then, and that runs all the way down there. And then I got a, a, another former down there to drill out. And and then once I get all that drilled, um, and then this former here, or this stringer here, I gotta drill it out. Once I get all those drilled, I gotta take the, the piece of metal back off peel the plastic off of it and paint it or prime it. And then it'll be going in for its final uh, assembly. So we're getting very close. I hope to have all this drilled out by, by lunch tomorrow. And then I'll get it, get it back out and get it primed. And then tomorrow evening, Larry is supposed to be coming back over and hopefully he can help me get the, all the rivets put back in because I, it's going to take two people to do this because one of us has got to get inside and I vote for Larry to be inside and me to be outside but it probably won't go that way.